The new iPhone 13 is released on September 14th. Does Apple stock go up after iPhone launch? Let's find out. Hello, welcome to Mooney Talk with Alan. September is the challenging month. As the old saying goes, September is cursed. Since 1945, September has been the worst month for the S&P 500, down by 0.56% on average. In comparison, the first runner-up, February, is down by just 0.15%. September is a meaningful month for Apple. Apple's fiscal year ends on September every year, and since 2012, almost all new iPhones are released on September. This year, the iPhone 13 saw the light of day on September 14th, featuring new screen, new camera, and new colors. To be honest, not very exciting to me. But does the stock market feel the same way as I do? Let's find out. Here we have done an analysis of Apple's stock price, including all the iPhones released until iPhone 12. Over the past 14 years, there has been 16 iPhone models released. On average, on the first month after the announcement, Apple's stock price would go up by 0.2%. Mm -hmm, not very significant. But then this momentum will increase, pushing the stock price up by 2.7% on the second month and 4.6% on the third month. Mm -hmm. Seems like Apple's stock price does go up after the iPhone release. Let's take a closer look. Here, we divide the timeline into three eras. In the first era, every year when the charismatic Steve Jobs introduced new iPhones, fans all over the world would go crazy and lining up miles outside the Apple stores. But the stock market stayed cool. Apple's stock price actually went down by 1.8% after the release. And as time goes by, the stock price recovered and finally gained 3% by the third month. After Jobs departed from us, Tim Cook took over the role as CEO of Apple. Unlike Jobs, Cook was little known outside tech circles, and for a long time, he faced tremendous pressure from Jobs' success. Apple's stock price was under the same pressure in the second era. For the next five iPhones released, the stock continuously underperformed. Even at the timing of three months, the stock was up by just 1.7%. It took Tim Cook a long time to break many of the hard rules set down by Apple's opinionated founder. And finally, when he emerged from Jobs' shadow and released the iPhone 7 in 2016, the new Cook era came. In the new Cook era, we saw a record-breaking 2.3% in the first month of iPhone's release followed by a huge gain of 8.2% by the third month. That's an even better performance than the Jobs era. Looking forward, demand for Apple's devices is likely to remain strong. US companies have been delaying their return to office plans following the spread of the highly infectious Delta variant. The remote working trend is likely to continue for several more quarters. Being the most successful and profitable product in history, iPhone is the cash cow for Apple, contributing the largest portion to Apple's total revenue. Although in the past five years, there's been a steady decline in this ratio from over 60% to 50%, but iPhone still remains as the favorite kit on Apple's balance sheet. The decline in reliance on iPhone's revenue can be partly attributed to external factors such as strong market competition from other smartphone manufacturers, as well as needs within the firm to build a more diversified product line. Apple has a much more diverse product line now than it had a decade ago. For some companies, this could have led to a certain lack of focus, but it hasn't happened to Apple. All these new products have only served to make the company stronger and much more profitable not to mention more valuable as well. Will Apple be adding more legs to stand on in the future? They have gotten into the habit of surprising the tech industry with something brand new every couple of years, so it seems very likely Apple Car and AR technology may be something we will be seeing next. Do you think the time is ripe to be owning Apple stocks? 
Don't miss out on our free Apple stock promotion happening in September. Stand to unlock up to 11 free Apple shares and 180-day commission-free trading with Moomoo. More details in the description below. No stock mentioned in this video are to be considered as investment advice. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.